Hello everyone. In this particular video, we'll be starting a new set of problems that is computation of taxable income from profession that is profession of a lawyer. So I'll be solving few problems. In that first problem, let us see in this particular video. The question is on the screen. Mr. Ye, an advocate residing in Delhi, submits his receipts and payments account for the previous year 22-23. So this is a receipt and payment account in the left side, the details of all the receipts will be given and right side, the details pertaining to the payments will be given. So they have given certain additional informations. Let us analyze the additional informations. Half of the car expenses pertain to personal use. So complete car is not using for his profession half of which is used for his personal purpose. So only the remaining half which he has used for professional purpose that will be taken into consideration. Next, depreciation rates they have given. Next, 25% of telephone expenses pertain to personal use. That means a complete telephone expenses is 100% out of which 25% he has used for personal purpose. Remaining 75% will be for profession. Half of the electric charges are of for house property. So if you see here electric charges, he has shown 3000 rupees. So in that half of which will be half of which he has used for his house property, which is personal. So remaining half which he has used for his profession that will be taken into consideration. Gift from clients rupees 5000 not included in above statement. So he has received received a certain amount of gift which is taxable uh, from clients. So that is taxable but he has not shown it in the above receipt and payment account but we have to consider that. Loan for bank loan from bank is for personal use so he has taken a loan for his personal use so we will not consider that because he is not taken for profession so using this information let us try to compute his taxable income from profession first we need to add all the professional receipts first to all professional receipts in a add month for that you have to see the left side of your receipt and payment account so you have balance brought down ignore that balance brought down setting fees so setting fees is related to the profession of an advocate so that setting fees we will consider 120000 rupees next you have legal counseling fees of 15000 rupees this is also related to the profession of a lawyer legal counseling fees next you have loan from bank which is irrelevant because he has taken it for personal use so ignore that rent from property so this is nothing but rent from house property you can consider which is personal so it is not related to his profession so ignore interest on bank fixed deposit so that is it comes under income from other sources so just ignore this also dividend from abc company so dividend from abc company is also an income from other source it doesn't come from income from it doesn't come in income from profession so ignore that also share of income from huf this is a tax free income so it's a tax free income so ignore that also so only two items in the receipts and payment account if you see the additional information here we have something called as gifts from client rupees 5000 not included in above statement so that he has received a gift of 5000 but he has not included but we have to write that also so no more details is given in regarding receipts in the additional information so only three information is there now if you add these things you will get the total professional receipts that is one lakh forty thousand in more than add amount the total professional income at a professional receipt one lakh forty thousand rupees per day from this you have to reduce the professional payments whatever the professional payments is there that has to be reduced for that you have to see the right side staff salary twenty eight thousand that is an expenditure professional expenditure so we will write that next you have professional books 
so purchase of professional books is a capital expenditure we cannot show the capital expenditure here but we can show the revenue expenditure so depreciation on professional books can be allowed here they have told that the depreciation rates for books is 40 percent so depreciation on books the total value of books purchase is 9000 into 40 percent is a depreciation so i will get 3600 subscription to general journals so some legal journals here subscribed which is the revenue expenditure that we will take into consideration next refreshment charges this is nothing but uh, similar to your entertainment charges it is a refreshment uh, charges a little bit uh, food he need to have some refreshment he require so those charges we will consider rent of office so office rent it is he has taken a building to run his office for that he is a paying rent of 7500 next it is telephone charges if you see the adjustment 25 percent of telephone charges pertain to personal use that means total telephone charges are 9000 in that 25,000 is related to his personal use remaining 75 percent is for his professional use so we will consider only that remaining 75 percent quotient next printing charges yes so he need to print uh, certain agreements certain documents legal documents and also for that certain charges would have incurred next is electric charges so there is an adjustment for electric charges it says that half of the electric charges are for house property that means his house electricity bill so in the total 3000 whatever he has shown as electric charges in that half of his is house bill so that we will not consider remaining half that is 1500 we will consider it for professional expenditure purchase of a car purchase of a car is a capital expenditure we will not take capital expenditure into consideration but depreciation on that can be allowed so depreciation on car so if you see the additional information half of the car expenses pertain to personal use so total car he is not using for his profession half of which he is using for his profession so full depreciation we will not allow hence we will allow only half of the depreciation so 1,25,000 is the car uh, purchased amount into 15% is the rate of depreciation into half if you do 9,375 you will get. Next, computer purchased, same computer purchase is a capital expenditure but we will allow depreciation on computer purchased. So depreciation on computer purchased total value was 25,000 the depreciation rate is 40 percent so we get 10,000 rupees we have okay next is car expenses the total car expenses is 3,500 but half of the car only is used for this profession so only half of the expenses we will allow next contribution to PPF contribution to PPF is nowhere related to the income from profession so we will ignore that nsc purchase national savings uh, certificate he has purchased that is also no way related to his profession so we will ignore that so next there is something called as bar association fees so what is this uh, bar association fees means so if you just remember while uh, practicing the problems of a medical practitioner so there medical association uh, fees we were getting so medical association where doctors get affiliated to that similarly this bar bar is an association where the what do you say the lawyers or the advocates will have a, their association so bar it is uh, uh, it's a body it's a bar council of uh, india it is enrolled with bar council of india so similarly all the advocates or all persons will be authorized any uh, responsible person that all the advocates and the lawyers should get uh, this uh, authorization from this uh, bar association 
or bar council of india so for that they have to pay certain association fees that is considered as professional receipt next you have balance carried down just ignore that balance carried down no need to consider that so if you add everything that is from 28,000, 3,000, 6,100, 1,000, 2,000, 7,000, 500, 6,000, 750, 1,500, 9,000, 375,000, 750, 10,000, 1,000, 1, you get 73,975. This is your total professional payments. Now, we know total professional receipts that is 1,40,000. From that, if you subtract 73,975, you get the taxable income from profession that is 66,025 rupees. So this is how we need to solve a problem on profession of a lawyer. Hope you have understood how to solve this problem. If you have any doubt, you can put your doubts in the comment box so that I'll respond to your doubts as soon as possible. In my upcoming videos, I'll be solving some more problems related to income from profession of a lawyer.